Hi there and welcome to my garden. Today we're going to be harvesting this garlic. This is a Turkish giant variety that I planted back in the fall. And you can tell it's ready to be picked because the last several sets of leaves have dried, died back. So that's telling you that it's ready for picking. This is a hard neck variety. So the, that's the, the neck is this part here. So you can't really braid this variety. Um, the bulb should be fairly large and have purple stripes. So I'm using a shovel to loosen it up because I don't want to damage the, the bulb. So once it's loose, I can start pulling. And you can see here, this is a pretty, pretty decent sized head. So I only grew one variety of garlic this year. Next year I may plant multiple varieties, but I, I really was liking the purple stripes on this one, so this is the one I chose to grow. And I know a few other people that are growing garlic that have different varieties, so I'm planning on doing a, a garlic swap with a couple of those people. So I'm going to go ahead and pull out the rest of these. Nice big one here. That's the biggest one of the bunch. Now I'm going to take you into the greenhouse where I've been curing my garlic that I harvested. And I've got them here on the shelf under this shade cloth. So here are my, my garlic heads. And these first three here that are on the shelf, these are the first ones that I harvested and you can see they don't look quite as good as, as the rest of them. That's because I had them sitting out in the sun for a couple days before I put them in the greenhouse. So that caused the, the heads to sep or the cloves to separate from the garlic a little bit. So that's not something that you want to do. Now one of the things that I did, since this is a hardneck variety, a friend told me that you should trim the trim the roots as well as the stem because there's a lot of moisture in the hardneck variety in those so you want to get rid of that extra moisture. Now softneck varieties you don't have to do that apparently and you can actually braid softneck varieties but this one the hardneck you can't really braid so next year I'd like to try a softneck variety so I can braid them. But these have been sitting in here for a couple weeks and it looks like they're about ready to go in the house and ready for use. So I hope you learned something about harvesting and curing garlic and thanks for watching.